Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Delhi Tarot and these are the love and relationship reading for the sun, moon and the rising sign of Taurus. Taurus, please keep in mind that this is your general reading, the group reading for the month of March 2023 and April 2023. So please pick it up what resonates with you. Please leave the rest for others. And you know very well that in case you want to connect with me for a personal private reading or a healing process for your love relationship, my email ID, my website is mentioned in the description box below. And if you really like what I do on the channel, please do like, subscribe the channel and put on the notifications. And my apologies for doing the reading little late. I was under the weather and you all have to now also excuse me for my low voice and my throat. Okay, let us straight move to your reading, the month of March. I'm going to pull out the reading for March and then I'm also going to clarify the Oracle card with Tarot just in a while. Now this is for your March and this is for your April. Let us see what messages do we have for you, Taurus. Let us see what messages do we have. March. And April. Okay. Let us see in the month of March we have separation. We have romantic feelings. And we have it's safe for you to love. And it is being clarified by the justice, the karma coming in. And Ace of Pentacles. Now, there is a small time separation I do feel. Now, this is not a permanent kind of separation because the justice is coming. This says that the relationship is going to attain a balance. It could be a temporary aloof kind of situation, a temporary situation where both the partners are very occupied in their own space. They are filtering a lot of things in their own space. They're getting sorted in their own space. And what they want to do next, they are planning, they are filtering accordingly. The card of separation says time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Now this time the angels are giving you, the divine is giving you so that you are sorted whether you want to carry on with the current relationship or not. Because this is your karmic relationship. You are absolutely in a karmic relationship. Now when you are in a karmic relationship, Taurus, the partner keep on coming, keep on going. There's a lot of give and take. Many times you guys together come together and then you get separated for some few weeks, few months or a year's time. But again, this is a karmic relationship. So again, you guys start from a new point, new initiation, new communication, new way of understanding into your relationship. So if you feel the separation is going to be permanent, it is not permanent since you guys have spent a lot of time, energies, intimacy, chemistry together, a lot of movement together. So it is keep on the relationship will keep on popping up, uh, you know, at most of the point because the romantic feeling will keep on coming back. The time you have spent together will keep on coming back. It says your feeling are real and worth exploring and these are your romantic feelings. So whatever you felt for each other was actually very, very true. So if things are not getting materialized at this point of time, do not force things to happen. Do not try to control the situation. Do not try to control the relationship or your partner. Things will get settled down on its own. And though it's a karmic relationship, you are from the same group of family. So you have come to give a lesson to each other. It's safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energies of all. Now this is working on your heart chakra. Because of this karmic give and take, because of this lots and ups and downs in your relationship, your heart chakra has a lot of blockages. Your heart chakra, your thought, your feeling, do not want to trust your partner again. You don't want to get relied on your partner again. Many times you get a feeling of, you know, being into separation. You'd want to leave, but still you're not able to move. You cherish your old memories. You want to return back to your old memories. So yes, this is, this is worth exploring. However... My only suggestion to you guys, Taurus people, is do not make this relationship a lifetime of relationship in the sense do not give your 100% energy, 100% focus. The moment you feel time is fine, things are moving fine, you may enjoy the moment. You may be happy in that moment. But taking 
this relationship very very strongly on yourself can take a toll on your mind body soul and energy and that can also impact your working relationship so this is a karmic relationship which has come to your life to give you some lesson or to take some lesson or maybe there is a past life connection that is why we always talk about the karmic relationship and yes this particular month a separation was going on or a temporary uh, separation will go on but finally there will be a new talk new beginning new starting point again into the relationship for sure now let us see what messages do we have in the month of april you have true love you have heart to heart conversation and you have let go of control issue that is what i was trying to tell you the moment you are going to take this particular relationship which is going on in your mind while you are looking at my reading or listening to my reading the moment you are going to take it seriously oh i'm i'm hurt you know i'm blocked i do not want to uh, you know be into the relationship those kind of negative patterns negative thoughts are very natural in a karmic relationship so the moment you guys are coming together cherish that moment and rest you have to be in your happy in your, to your respective life yes this karmic relationship is a very strong intimate relationship of your life but what i see that dwelling completely depending completely or thinking that oh this is going to be my uh, soulmate connection in the sense that uh, you know this is my only connection or i i'm going to get married completely i'm going to be very happy things are falling apart but still no this is this can be one of the pillar of your life one of the strength of your life but you cannot be dependent 100% on this karmic relationship for your mental peace for your emotional dependency completely though it's a true love it's a true relationship but you have your own karmic bag and baggages your own responsibility in your life so dwelling on each other is not going to work in the current relationship it says true love this is a romance of a lifetime so yes even if the partner or you are uh, you are going coming going you know all the time this relationship is going to have a place in your heart and in your life forever because that love is a true love even if you guys get separated you will come back again because there is a there is a kind of attraction that you feel for each other still and it says you know if there is any misunderstanding if there is any chaos if there is any uh you know miscommunication a heart to heart conversation a heart to heart talk you know spending little quality time in a week or 10 days time talking to each other meeting briefly explaining the situation explaining the feeling can really help both the partners to come down to a very to a very a normal understanding state again so that you guys can understand each other situation well and you can still hope for things to get better very very soon and let go controlling issue you cannot control the kind of circumstances or situation which is going on in your life apart from your love life and i'm talking about your your career your family your other people in life or maybe other relationship in life this relationship is very important but not the only relationship in each other's partner life so stop controlling if if you have a urge to control you need to work on your own or our own chakra and you need to let go of any kind of controlling your partner even yourself just set yourself free from any dependency any expectations any regret any guilt any any kind of you know disappointment these are all the ways you are trying to control your emotions just flow with the flow try to be very happy and joyous the moment you are getting together cherish that and the moment you feel that oh you are not able to give time it's better to have a holistic viewpoint and carry on in a very loving way it says let go of control issues allow the situations to unfold naturally allow yourself to get back to your partner naturally allow your partner give time and space to come back naturally because if there is an attraction if there is a feeling if there is a connect even after great turmoil into a relationship or because of karmic relationship the partners do get together for again a good moments in life and the card clarifying is two of wands the hanging man it says the situation will definitely is a positive one is going to improve however the current relationship being a karmic relationship will always demand for adjustments compromise sacrifice and if you really feel that oh the relationship can be afforded into your life with compromise adjustments from your end if you are happily 
able to do that it is sense to be into the relationship but otherwise to be absolutely honest with you it's a karmic relationship so the up and down with this particular partner this particular person is always going to be there because of the other life circumstances so that is absolutely your free will and free call if you're happy you want to retain your partner because you love him you love her if that is the only base one can always go for adjustments and sacrifice because the love is on the top if you feel that no i need everything along with this you have to really relook into the relationship and your choices and that was your group reading do let me know how you resonated with it i will see you next time very soon be blessed